Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Monty. I'd just like to thank everybody that's been involved in this wonderful tribute to my son, Secretaries of Defense, Secretary of the Army, all those others that are involved. I cannot, I'm sorry, remember all your names. When a father has a child, he immediately begins thinking what values, what things should my child learn? What should I give my child to make him successful or her successful in life? It was not difficult. It was easy to choose the values to give my son. I simply followed my teachings. There was a prayer that I knew. I had been taught it by my father, who was a wonderful, kind, and compassionate man. And it was those virtues in that prayer that I tried to pass on to all my children, not just Jared, but all my children. And if you will indulge me for a moment, I would like to recite that prayer for you. It's called the Prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. It says, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Those of you that knew him knew that that was one of his missions in life. Not to kill people. No, never. That embarrassed him. But to sow love. Lord, where there is injury, let me sow pardon. And those that knew him knew he was a very, very forgiving individual. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. His soldiers would tell you again and again and again how he encouraged them to succeed. They call me, they email me, and they tell me, Jared saved my marriage. On a 20-mile march, he would tell them, hang in there, you can make it. There's only one click to go. Of course, there were 15 clicks left. <laughs> Where there is despair, let me sow hope. And again, if you checked into his, his missions in South Korea, in Kosovo, his two missions in Afghanistan, and you were to ask the citizens there, they would tell you how he gave them hope for a better life by doing simple things for the ordinary person. Where there is darkness, let me sow light. And this he did as well. He found people with darkness in their life and opened the curtains and allowed some light to come in as the woman with the children that was not going to have a Christmas. Where there is sadness, let me sow joy. 
he sowed a heck of a lot of joy. Got him into the brig a few times. But he just loved to make people happy. He even once toyed with the idea of becoming a comedian. That itself was comical. <laughs> o Divine Master, grant that I may not seek to be consoled as to console. Ask any of his fellow soldiers his ability to console. They never needed to hang their head and weep because he was always there to hold their head up for them. Grant that I may not seek to be understood as to understand. He had this unique ability to walk into a conversation of people arguing, talking, heatedly, and stand there and listen, and listen, and listen, until the combatants looked at him with a query. What's wrong, Monty? And he would settle the dispute at that point, because there was nothing left to argue about. Let me not seek to be loved as to love. His name meant gift of God. And he shared love everywhere, everywhere he went in the world. I think he got that from his grandfather, who lived with the word love. For it is in giving that we receive. I think Jared probably received more in his life than anyone I can think of. But he never got anything for himself. Because no matter what we sent him, he gave it away. In the end, he gave away his life for someone else. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. He was extremely forgiving. I've talked with many of the PFCs that were under him, and they loved him because of the fact that he always excused their shortcomings and showed them the right way. He wasn't a screamer or a yeller. He got his successes with them by pardoning their mistakes and teaching them the right way. And lastly, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And that's where my son is today, eternally with his God, looking upon all of us. One thing I know, he would not be here. If alive to receive this award, he would be in the middle of a wood somewhere, or most probably in a bar, <laughs> drinking them down, telling someone, yeah, well, they wanted to give me the Medal of Honor, but, you know, because he would not want it. In accepting it, I accept it in his name, not just for him, but for all of you men and women who serve our country and protect our freedom and our way of life. Thank you.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and join in the singing of the Army Song. The words to the Army Song can be found in your program. First to fight for the right and to build the nation's might, and the Army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done, fighting till the battle's won, and the Army goes rolling along. Then it's high, high, hey, the Army's on its way, Count out the cadence loud and strong, for where'er we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Whoop. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in place for the departure of the official party. <laughs> 